Hello, my name is Mars Brining, and in this short video we'll be having a look at the Copy Settings Wizard. Okay, we're going to go and load the Copy Settings Wizard program. If you want to know where it is, it will be under the SolidWorks directory in your Start menu. So I'm going to go into the SolidWorks directory, then into SolidWorks Tools. There's quite a number of tools in here, but the one I'm interested in is this one, which is the Copy Settings Wizard. Now when you load the tool up you get two options, either to save settings or restore settings from a previous save. This time I'm interested in saving settings which is on by default. I'm just going to click next. Now I've got a session of SolidWorks running at the moment. To make sure I save absolutely everything, all the settings I've got available. OK, now I've closed SolidWorks. I'm going to click yes. Now I get a choice of where to save my file. The copy settings wizard is saved to an SLD reg file. So that can be saved anywhere you want. Ideally you want to put it somewhere where you can remember where it is. And remember if you're copying this onto another machine to move it off of the, the local hard drive so that you can get to it uh, from the new machine. Okay, so the settings that the copy setting wizard will save are any keyboard shortcuts you've got many menu customizations that you have, for instance if you've turned some of the commands off in the, the menus system options, any global settings that you've got from the uh, tools options menu also toolbar layout, so any custom toolbars that you've got loaded at present will be saved. You've got a choice of all toolbars or macro toolbar only I'm going to leave mine on all toolbars because I want to save everything. Once I've done that I'm going to click finish so it saved it. You may have noticed that it's popped up on my desktop on the left. Okay, so when would you use this normally? Well, the copying setting wizard you'd normally use if you're trying to transfer settings from one machine to another. This normally happens when you're changing machines, um, say an upgrade. It can also be used to uniform a number of machines so they have the same settings. This can be handy, especially in a very large design office. So I'm just going to go and load the copy settings wizard again. And this say I've just installed SolidWorks on this machine and I want to copy over my settings from my old machine. Now this time I'm going to click on restore settings, click next. It's going to ask me where to get my file from, my settings wizard file from. There it is, so it's on my desktop. I'm going to click open and it gives me a, a list of items that I want to apply to my SOLIDWORKS installation I'm going to leave them all ticked and go next now I've got a choice here now for most of you it's going to be a current user so it's going to apply these settings to the current user so whatever user you're logged onto Windows as at the moment I can also choose for instance if you're a, a machine administrator on a, a number of machines I can choose to put them onto a number of different machines in one go so I can uniform an entire design office or if I have roaming profiles I can choose to apply it to a roaming profile so at the moment I'm going to leave it on current user this is what would apply to most people I'd imagine I'm going to click next now it's asking me finally do you want to create a backup of what SOLIDWORKS has at the moment um, I don't really need to create a backup because my installation is brand new, straight out of the box, so there's no need to back it up. So I'll click finish. Now it's giving me a message here because I haven't ticked backup. Um, it's saying, Do you want to still continue on? Click yes. So there we go. SolidWorks settings have been successfully copied to the current user, which is me. Thank you for watching.